know they're brilliant people. I found it. I have been looking for a word for some time to mean that really encapsulates the joy of co-creation. So maybe I haven't entirely found it, but I've got really, really close. And it's thanks to the talk of this lovely lady on, um, on TED Talks. I'll have that link below. Now, um, this word, and <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say I've, I've found it because I can't pronounce it very well. So you might want to listen to the TED Talk so you can hear it pronounced properly. But um, the, the word is actually a Navajo word. So, uh, you know, Navajo, it's one of the uh, Native American nations. Um, and the word is hojho. I don't think I'm pronouncing that properly. I'm really sorry. Um, but the word, because I have heard I have heard of the word before, but when I'd heard it translated before, it was translated as meaning, um, you know, beauty and balance, harmony, that kind of thing. But the way this lady talks about Hodge Hall <laughs> is um, that uh, it actually means the joy of being part of the beauty of all creation. So if that isn't close to meaning the joy of um, co-creation, I don't know what is. Uh, at least, you know, it is very close. Um, so I'm just chuffed because, you know, when you can find a word that that really encapsulates what you want to focus on, it just, it does enable your mind to focus on it so much more clearly. And, you know, as you've heard me talk about before, when you're use, working with your intuition, it's all focus and intention. So when you have a word for a concept like the, the joy of co-creation, it makes it so much easier to manifest that in your life. So there you are. Use that word and that will help you remember that you're brilliant.